Well done. <laughs> I'm feeling very proud at the moment. My name is Paul Kohler. I'm the head of the School of Law from where so many of your loved ones are graduating today. As perhaps is fitting, if untypical for a lawyer, I will begin with a confession. The means by which I sneak onto the list of speakers each year is ostensibly to announce the names of the prize winners from within the School of Law. That, however, is not my plan today. But particularly with this year's excellent results, there are just too many to mention, whilst frankly, even if I tried, I doubtless mispronounce many of their names and cause much insults to our guests. You mean we spent all that money and he doesn't even know who you are? <laughs> More importantly, though, it would completely miss the point of today's ceremony, as you're all prize winners, having worked so hard to achieve your degrees. So really, a heartfelt well done. If I might address the lawyers for one moment, although the generality of what I'm about to say is equally pertinent to the non-lawyers in the room, you joined a good law school, you are leaving a better one, but I want you to have studied at a great school of law, and that, to a large measure, is down to each of you. For you're going out into the world as so as graduates, it's up to you to make that count. Remember my constant mantra in class, you have one life, so use it well. Whether your next destination is corporate law, human rights, an NGO, industry, government, or the UN, I want you to use what you've learned here to make a difference there. In short, you are now SOAS alumni, and that comes with real responsibility, as everything you say and do, both good and, dare I say it, ill, will reflect on us. I do not doubt you will achieve great things, but can I make a plea that you keep us informed of your progress? Firstly, because it's important for our community of scholars that we maintain a dialogue now, your current degree, but not your association with SOAS, has come to an end. But also, somewhat more prosaically perhaps, because such information has a practical significance you might not have considered. It's not just about pressurising you to fund a scholarship once you're a Clifford Chance partner. For example, whilst comfortably within the Guardian Top 20, we dropped a few places last year simply because our data regarding last year's graduate destinations was incomplete. Now, I do not doubt that some of you will indeed be sunning yourselves on a beach in Goa or some other exotic climb in six months' time. But many others will have embarked on graduate employment, the LPC, the BPTC, and other postgraduate programs. The point is that whatever you're doing, we'd like to know, even if you're simply parting in Bali. <laughs> so please ensure you read the information you're given today and sign up for the alumni program to become an active member of the worldwide SOAS community. Finally, can I just say how much we've enjoyed your time with us? Your vibrancy, with a revived Student Law Society, the newly instituted student-edited SOAS Law Journal, to perhaps unfairly cite just two examples, is infectious. The reason why I've so enjoyed my time as head of department. As you know, our school of law, like SOAS, is always challenging, sometimes maddening, and utterly unique. Historically, we were the first school of global law my aspiration is for us to become the first school of global law. That ultimately is down to every one of you. So can I finish by wishing you a heartfelt and fond farewell as you go out into the world, carrying our love, pride, hopes, and anticipation with you. Congratulations.